start with the new new thing which is actually base or you can say that alkalis right so over here first of all you need to remember this what is base base is actually metal oxides bases are actually metal oxides and uh, you can say that they are exception there are some exception uh, exceptions over here and aluminum oxide is amphoteric even it is basic but also acidic as well so zinc oxide and aluminum oxides are amphoteric so in do ko chhod kar aapke paas sare metal oxides kya hote hain bachcho bases hote hain theek hai aur isme se aapke paas do oxides sodium oxide and potassium oxides are soluble in water they are actually soluble in water baki sare insoluble hote hain aapke paas calcium hydro calcium oxide jo hota hai na it is sparingly soluble thoda sa soluble hota hai bahut zyada soluble nahi hota sparingly soluble hota hai so ye ye bhi ek tarah ka alkali hai but bahut kam soluble hota hai sodium oxide when dissolve in water it will produce what so, sodium hydroxide right and when potassium oxide k2o and k2o dissolve in water it will produce what potassium hydroxide so ye dono aapke paas kya hai they are water soluble bases so they are known as alkali so what is alkali they are actually water soluble bases they are actually what water soluble bases theek hai na to aap keh sakte hain ke sare alkalis bases hote that's fine alkali sare bases hote hain lekin sare bases alkali nahi hote kyunki जो जो पानी में इन सोलबल है वो सारे बेसिस हैं और जो सोलबल है वो एल्कलीज हैं सो यू नीड टू की दिस के मेटल ऑक्साइड ज्यादातर क्या होते हैं आपके पास इन सोलबल होते हैं इफ यू टॉक अबाउट कॉपर ऑक्साइड दिस इज बेस बट दिस इज इन सोलबल इन वाटर दिस इज इन सोलबल इन वाटर इफ यू टॉक अबाउट लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल मैग्नीशियम ऑक्साइड दिस इज ऑल्सो वॉट बेस बट इन सोलबल इन वाटर टॉक अबाउट सिल्वर ऑक्साइड इट इज बेस बट insoluble in water right if you talk about sodium oxide so it is base right it is base but soluble in water when it dissolve in water it become what sodium hydroxide which is actually alkali right same as it is potassium oxide is also what base first then it is soluble in water that is why it is known as alkali because it form what potassium hydroxide so only two of them are soluble in water and if we talk about calcium oxide so it is sparingly soluble very very few amount of calcium oxide is soluble in water so you can say that even uh, in 100 100 ml or 100 cm cube of water we just have 1 gram or maybe less than 1 gram is going to be dissolved in 100 cm cube of water which is very rare solubility which is very a small amount of uh, calcium oxide which is going to be dissolved in water 100 cm cube is a very good amount of water it can dissolve many things in it like if you talk about sugar so agar aap 100 cm cube pani lete ho to uske andar 64 grams tak aapke paas sugar dissolve ho sakti just think about this 64 gram kahan aur 1 gram kahan to kitna kam soluble hai calcium oxide that is why we are using the word sparingly soluble bahut hi kam soluble hai right so you need to keep remember what is base base is actually metal oxides and what is alkali they are actually metal hydroxide metal hydroxide and only two metal oxides are going to convert into hydroxide one is sodium oxide and second is potassium oxide calcium oxide can also be converted into hydroxide but very small in amount right so let's move towards some physical properties of bases if you talk about physical properties so we have some physical properties of bases that are completely opposite to the properties of acids and one more definition that can you can use for bases bachcho is that ke alkalis alkalis bhi use kar sakte hain alkalis jab pani mein dissolve hote hain to ye oh negative ion produce karte hain to ye definition bhi aap produce use kar sakte hain jaise acid bhi use kar rahe the na substances that produce that called divine in the aqueous solution to alkalis ke liye oh negative wali definition use ho sakti hai Let's talk about physical properties. Pali physical property kya thi bacho? Pali physical property hamba acid ki yeh thi ki that they are sour in taste. And if you talk about uh, 
soaps. So they are actually, sorry, soap, well, no, they are, if you talk about uh, bases and alkalis, so they are actually bitter in taste. If uh, you trust me, that's fine. Otherwise, you can taste soaps in your houses, right? In the soaps, uh, we have caustic soda, which is NaOH. For how zada use karte hain hum soaps banate waqt sodium hydroxide. So sometimes as out there, no do te waqt soaps se kisi face wash se hamare mouth mein thoda sa chala jata hai. To hume feel hota hai kisi kadawa sa hota hai na soap. So why it is uh, so bitter because of the presence of sodium hydroxide over there. So always, always we have uh, bases that are bitter in taste. Moth kar do te hain, moth kar do. ठीक है ना? And if you talk about uh, the acids, so acids do what? They are toxic. They are corrosive. If you believe me, that's fine. Otherwise, you can put your hand in the uh, battery acid. You will feel that it is corrosive and it is toxic. And if you talk about uh, bases and if you talk about uh, like uh, alkalis, so they are actually slippery in touch, right? So they they will be slippery in touch. If you touch them, it will be slippery like soap, right? I I told you so, so uh, we have a lot of sodium hydroxide, but it is slippery in touch. जी बेटे सर सर दिस इज द फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ बेसिस यस फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ बेसिस ओके राइट एंड वी टॉक अबाउट दैट द सॉल्युबिलिटी ऑफ एसिड्स इन वाटर इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द सॉल्युबिलिटी ऑफ बेसिस सो ओनली सोडियम ऑक्साइड एंड पोटेशियम ऑक्साइड आर सॉल्युबल इन वाटर एंड द रेस्ट ऑफ बेसिस आर इनसॉल्युबल द रेस्ट ऑफ ऑल मेटल ऑक्साइड्स आर इनसॉल्युबल metal oxides are insoluble if you want to use the word for calcium over here so you can say that calcium oxide is sparingly soluble over here right and again if you talk about the conductivity of electricity so definitely the one which is going to dissolve in water will produce ions over there once the ions will be there definitely electricity can be passed out through the solution so remember bases cannot conduct electricity until and unless they are molten in state right But alkalis can conduct electricity in aqueous state as well because they are soluble in water. So you can say that bases conduct electricity in molten state, right? If you have copper oxide, so definitely it is insoluble in water. If you want the copper oxide to electricity conduct, kare so you can melt this, right? It will be molten, and the ions are going to feed. Uh, freely move over there, right? Then they can conduct electricity. But if you talk about alkalis, so alkalis can conduct electricity in molten and aqueous both. Is that right, Mister? Yes, sir. These are the physical properties of bases, right? Bases, yeah, actually, दोनों को आप कह सकते हैं कि दोनों की physical properties हैं, ठीक है? उसके बाद we have some color changes. If you remember in acids, we do some color changes. So definitely, we need to do some color changes over here as well, right? If you talk about color changes, so in the acids, we talk about litmus paper first, right? If you remember in acid, we use blue litmus paper which turns into red, and over yeah, here blue. you can use what blue one which will turn into Oh, sorry, red one which turns into blue, right? So you can say that red litmus over here will change it into blue. So red litmus turns to blue, right, bacho? Acids kya karte hain? Blue wale ko red karte hain. Ye red wale ko blue kar dega, right? If you talk about the second one, which was the pH paper, I told you we have a very we have a variable colors over there. We have a range of colors over there, and if you have just one paper which is of yellow color. so you can say that it turns blue right yellow paper turns blue turns blue it turns blue right then we have uh, one more thing which is methyl orange acha bachcho iska color changes main aapko bhi thodi der mein video share kar deta hu aapke group par aap dekh sakte hain uh maine live mein bachcho ko karaya tha to usme maine announce kar liya tha ठीक है ना मैं आपको अभी थोड़ी देर में रिकॉर्डिंग भेज दूंगा आप लोग देख लीजिएगा किस तरह इसका कलर चेंज होता है सो मिथाइल ऑरेंज इज ऑलवेज येलो इन एल्कलीज राइट यू कैन से दैट मिथाइल ऑरेंज खुद तो कैसा होता है ऑरेंज कलर का होता है लेकिन जब आप इसको एल्कलीज में डालते हैं तो इट विल बी टू येलो कलर सो यू कैन से दैट ऑरेंज कलर ऑरेंज चेंजेस टू 
yellow in alkalis. We know that in acids, it was red, right? And if you talk about the last one, which is a new one in our flavors, thymoxaline. Thymoxaline having blue color in alkalis, right? It is again colorless changes to blue. Colorless solution changes to blue. This is a new addition in our syllabus. If you talk about uh, phenoxaline, the last one in our syllabus, it was phenoxaline. It was phenoxaline in our syllabus that was uh, recently in our syllabus, but it is now changed to thymoxaline. If you talk about uh, phenoxaline, so it was like, uh, it was colorless solution changes to pink color. It was pink color, right? But it has changed to thymoxaline. It was previous one, thymoxaline was previous one. It has changed to thymoxaline in our flavors now. Our flavors mein naya wala jo hai, thymoxaline, which is blue color. It is a recording pass module. I will share it with you. You will see how it changes color. Right. So these are the indicators that are a part of our flavors and uh, ATP in uh, different MCQs. If you can you can use this, these information to identify the solutions or you can identify the pH of the solution as well. Or in many of the questions, the examiner examine you by asking these things. So you need to keep remember these things. But so let's move towards the chemical properties, which are the most important one about this in the chapter, right? So chemical properties, so we just have one chemical property. We just have one chemical property, right? That is mainly that we need to discuss is Whenever you talk about alkalis, when you talk about alkalis, when you react them with ammonium salts, when you react them with ammonium salts, ammonium salts means the salts that have NH4 ion over there, right? So they will form what? They will form salt, ammonia gas, and water, right? This will be the journal chemical property for alkalis. And if you talk about the example of this, but so, so for example, for example, I have sodium hydroxide, which is one of the alkali. We know that sodium oxide is soluble in water. So definitely it is one of the alkali, right? If I react with one of the ammonium salt, ammonium salt means we should have NH4 ion over there in the salt. This is ammonium ion. This is what? Ammonium ion, right? You need to keep remember this. This is ammonium ion, right? So for example, if you talk about the ammonium chloride, the formula will be NH4Cl, right? For example, sodium hydroxide is going to react with ammonium chloride, but so just you need to keep remember that the water is going to be formed over there and NH4 is going to produce what? Ammonia over there as well, right? So these two products are compulsory and what is remain over here? You know that salt and how can we form the salt? You know that when when, 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 when H positive ion of acids are going to replace by metal ions, but over here, you don't have H positive ion. So you can say that hydroxide of bases when replaced by any non-metallic ion, right? So it will form what salt. So you can say that this Cl is going to replace hydroxide. So it will form what? NaCl. This will be the salt, ammonia, and water over there. Is that right, Bacho? So can you please explain yes, this again? Yes, we can do this again as well. You can see this. Yes, alkali. When any alkali is going to react with ammonium salt, ammonium salt comes out and this may NH4 positive. When any ammonium salt reacts with sodium hydroxide, it always from what? Ammonia and water. Ammonia comes NH4 ne ammonia produce kiya. Chikin? NH4 ne kya kiya? Ammonia produce kiya. Or pani aagya. Bacha kya aapke paas? You just have chloride over here. You just have chloride over here and sodium over here. So these two are going to uh, react together and form what? Salt. Yaha par aama paas NCL ban kiya. If you are confused over here, so we can do one more reaction. Calcium hydroxide, even it is sparingly soluble, but one of the alkali. If I reacted with ammonium sulfate, just look at over here. This is ammonium sulfate, right? So you need to keep remember, this is one of the alkali. When alkali reacts with the ammonium salts, it will form what? Ammonia gas. So 
first what are this these are two compulsory products bacha kya bachcho aapke paas this sulfate and this calcium when they combine together calcium is 2 plus sulfate is 2 minus so the numbers are same the charges are opposite the formula will be calcium sulfate right if you talk about the balancing you can see that that we have two ammonium ions over here when we have two ammonium ions they must produce two ammonia gas and two water molecules is that clear bachcho yes sir do you want to try this equation so let's move towards some sql test questions so you must need to write some equation by your own when your pan works your your paper works right so let's talk about let's talk about some sql test so you need to react koh with ammonium nitrate you need to react koh with ammonium phosphate right uh, just do it quick and you also need to react these two with naoh as well right and you also need to react these two with calcium hydroxide as well so total we need to write six equations just do it quick and send me the pictures so i can check you are getting the point or not this is the only chemical property of alkalis some home what is your homework what is your homework is for example a farmer a farmer is adding nitrogenous fertilizer a farmer is adding nitrogenous fertilizer to fertilizer to his field right and what is the nitrogenous fertilizer that he was adding any ammonium salt can be the nitrogenous fertilizer so i am just taking this uh, ammonium sulfate over here ammonium sulfate if i i am for example the farmer so i am using ammonium sulfate over here but uh after this when he adds this he feels he feels that uh, uh he felt that the land is too acidic so he added calcium hydroxide to decrease the acidity of the soil right so he fulfills all the requirements of the land but still the crop is not going to be healthy right but still the crop is not going to be healthy the crops are not going to be healthy right so bachcho this is your homework you need to state and explain you need to state and explain with the help of equation why that why nitrogenous fertilizer is not working that why nitrogenous fertilizer is not working working right so it is of three marks let's see how many of how many of you would get all three marks of this just take a picture of this a screenshot of this and i want this homework uh, to be done और आप इसको दो दिन में करें तीन दिन में करें आप ही करके भेज दें आपकी मर्जी आई एम नॉट लिमिटिंग यू बट बिफोर द नेक्स्ट क्लास यू नीड टू कंप्लीट दिस दैन वी विल टॉक अबाउट समथिंग व्हिच इज लाइक पीएच पेपर पीएच स्केल व्हाट इज पीएच एंड व्हाट इज द टेस्ट एंड समथिंग लाइक दैट एंड द वो व्हेन द टेस्ट ऑफ अमोनिया द टेस्ट ऑफ अमोनिया माइन टेस्ट फॉर द प्रेजेंस ऑफ वाटर एंड वी विल इंशाल्लाह टॉक अबाउट ऑक्साइड्स एज़ वेल एंड वी विल एंड दिस चैप्टर इंशाल्लाह इन द अपकमिंग वीक Okay bachcho is that clear to all of you Yes sir